Welcome back, sports gamers. It's the natural. Have some first Mad NFL 20 gameplay details for you guys today. I'm going to cover in this video. In the second video, I will take a look at the superstar and X factors and dive into that more. But let's get right into the gameplay. I know that's one thing you guys are always clamoring for. Um, don't have any additional screenshots or video to show you guys. We're just going to go over a lot of the um, what was covered in the blog there and kind of give my thoughts and opinions on a lot of that stuff. First off, one of the biggest things that have been touched are the signature throwing motions for quarterbacks. So a handful of the top quarterbacks have been given their own signature throwing motions in the game and they will add more animations in the future in the future as the game uh, goes on there. Um, so right now we definitely have in, they got Big Ben, Brady, Phillip Rivers, um, of course Patrick Mahomes on the cover, and also um, you know Aaron Rodgers, and they take not long, not just the throwing animations, but also the length of the passes. So short passes for quarterbacks, will, of course, will be quicker than deeper passes, um, but also the animations that they perform will be more realistic um, because they actually got um, they motion captured not from the exact players, but they motion captured. Um, the different quarterback throwing motions from video and had guys in and do the motion capture to try to simulate a capture what the real life animations for somebody like Aaron Rodgers is like. And the first thing someone's gonna ask is well, why did they just get the real actual players? I mean just being realistic to, to get in, you know, okay, let's bring in, you know, twenty, you know, fifteen to twenty actual quarterbacks to come in and just do motion capture. I mean just the amount of cost, the amount of time and scheduling, that's something that might not even got in the game this year. Especially when it's like when you get somebody just to kind of simulate it. I mean is someone really gonna be sitting there and going like, oh wait, the real Aaron Rodgers throwing the run is his hand finishes two two inches to the right. You know, I mean, it's it's not even honestly not worth it. I'm, I'm just glad that they're attempting to get something that looks like it. I'd rather them get a simulation, uh, someone simulated, but for all 32 NFL quarterbacks um, that we have them. So hopefully they continue to work towards that and get that in. But it's it's good seeing that uh, they're working on. That's one thing I've seen people ask a lot about is getting the individualized QB animations. That's a big thing with the X factors this year is getting um, you know players to play more like their real selves that you see. So um, they did standardize the pass animations and they tuned the passing speeds and trajectory to get a little more air under the ball for all throwing types. So in order to get a higher pass trajectory, they changed the velocity. So now this year, a 99 rating for throw power, which equates to 55 mile power for bullet passes, it's been dropped down to 62, which is down from 62 mile per hour in Matt in 19. So they lowered the, the the speed of the ball traveling, but now it's easier to get more air under the the, um, the passes there. And along with that, what kind of fits fits right into it is the 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 super LBs. Um, that that's been changed there, and the lurking LBs. I, I know I've seen a lot of people complain about that in gameplay, especially in franchise mode. Um, guys get really fast athletic linebackers, and they just you know cover the middle. They can jump up and pick pick post routes, pick routes that are deep ends that are 15, 20 yards behind them, and pick it off. So so now they they made changes. Um, so defensive backs we would execute athletic jumping interceptions in Madden 20. But linebacker, defensive linemen will not be able to make acrobatic catches over the middle. And if a user tries to intercept the pass, one of these bigger defenders that he can't reach the pass, the player will trigger a catch animation, but it won't reach the ball. Um, but they did pick the best uh, linebackers to actually do it in real life and equip them with a superstar ability that will allow them to get up in the air and make spectacular catches when applicable. So apply that to gameplay. I know teams that whoever whoever LLBs have that uh, superstar ability, that is they're going to be so people are going to want want that team, want that defense. I mean, I don't know. if I'm trying to think. What do you guys think? What what ability that what players will have that? I mean, I know um, probably a Luke Kigley, um, someone like that, a really athletic linebacker who plays the pass well. So I know that's going to be in high demand um, to get to get those few select linebackers to still make those acrobatic interceptions. So. Going back to the passing, they did touch on the um, pump fake mechanics, and that's something that was noted in the little uh, early video that I had, dropping some Madden, uh, Madden 20 dimes early on. The pump fake, you can now double tap receiver icon to pump fake to a specific receiver, 
or use this as a throw cancel mechanic if you want to pull the ball down late if you change your mind. See a well typed time pump fake will be able to impact the defensive players by forcing them to react. Especially if you're equipped with the sleight of hand pump fake superstar abilities like uh, Ben Roethlisberger. As a result, the medium pass mechanic has been returned to the press and release mechanic that was there prior to Madden uh, 16. So they removed that so they could add in the uh, the pump fake there. So that that's one thing. Um, I think, as far as I'm sure, I, I believe that Roethlisberger is one of the few that have that pump fake superstar ability that really fakes guys out. So um, I'm curious to see what other players will, will get that, if, if at all. If that's just going to be uh, Big Ben. So, um, so the passing, you see the passing is overhauled there um, from the animations to how it's thrown to how defenders can react to it. Um, I think that's a good step. Trajectory was a, a huge problem in the game. I really want to get um, some hands-on uh, with the game. Uh, and I, hopefully I will be able to do that at EA Play. Um, fortunately this year I was not invited down to EA Play, but I will uh, most likely be going down um, on my own and just getting you know getting some feedback uh, in the game and get, giving you guys some real uh, genuine feedback uh, that's not influenced or biased in any way like some other people might bring it to you um, so moving right along to the uh, signature animations and special moves they've updated the first down stick and sack celebration throughout the game with the focus on signature celebrations so if running backs you'll notice superstar players have their own set of special moves that only superstar have access to including juke spin hurdle truck and stiff arm i already mentioned one earlier um about Todd Gurley having the the hurdle one and he's the only one that gets that type of hurdle and anim a mission so also they have signature running styles for cam newton julian edelman alvin Kamara. Richard Sherman, and they're talking about they're going to um, expand that feature as well. So superstar pass rushers will have powerful and unique pass rush animations that will have a heavy impact on offensive game planning due to quarterback pressure these animations deliver. So it's good to see that they're doing more and more to differentiate the top players in the league from just the average players. On the presentation side, they have a special pregame during game signature cutscenes for superstar athletes to connect with players with their favorite NFL stars. Interesting to see that one as well. Um, and so one of the things also was big this year, and I've definitely and you know heard about is the the immersion and quality of polish. And, and polish, I would say you know with Madden 20, they it seems like they're saying here in the blog that they did make commitment to to test the game more, to play the game more. Um, to have more polishing weeks and a lot of times uh, people don't realize just you know making a game even if you're not starting from scratch which they're not making a game in such that tight window where you only have pretty much like eight months of actual development is very tough you know not giving EA a pass at all but the developers you know have limited resources and a limited amount of time to put out you know a game that's being played by millions every year um, so I know this year they had alphas all along um, and they took more time in finding out places where you know the, the game had issues and kind of addressed those really pain points so i think we'll definitely see a more polished game than madden 19 which was pretty much a mess from uh, from launch and it took them I mean, pretty much almost half the year to get it halfway decent and people you know are, are still having some gameplay and bugs with the game as well so i think madden 20 is definitely a more polished game um, so they did streamline play, post play, and a no huddle experiences. They shortened the amount of time spent showing gameplay before and after the play. Um, and they also, they changed how the gameplay clock will be naturally accelerated regardless of your accelerated clock settings to account for the time that normally would take off while players are getting aligned. So when using hurry up or no huddle, the accelerated clock will tick off the amount of time it will take the player from the furthest away to run and get aligned in his pre-play formation position. These changes have created a fast experience and more time spent on the sticks in the game session. And I'm, you know, I, I welcome that and anything that can have us get more gameplay and play, get right into the game, play the game, and more time in the game is better. I know a lot of people really, really want the presentation of having the coin toss back, but I, I, I personally, I like the move of less, less things like that that really don't make a difference. I mean showing them flip the, this, the heads or tails or actually just lining you up how the result i mean it makes no difference to me you know i'm all about the gameplay and getting into the game so um i welcome this this change here 
And so for the uh, the pass rush has been changed. Um, they're having a more balanced and powerful pass rush into the game to limit the amount of time in the pocket. They'll be even more intense when playing superstar pass rushers. This is a significant creative change to the balance of the game on average. It will force the offense to get the ball quicker on passing plays without consistently having the time to wait for the second and third pass windows to open up. Thank you. And, and I thought this was already great. Now, if you play if you play on um, Sim on our Sim All Madden, that's that's how it already kind of is. Like especially if you're versus a top pass rusher, you don't have all day in Sim All Madden. But I guess this they're kind of bringing that more to the other game styles and, and competitive because competitive is terrible. I don't even like playing online. And and, and 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 please shout out to the devs. Please. Give us the ability to choose our game style online because I hate being forced to play competitive. Because I hate competitive. You can literally sit back there, have a ham sandwich, you know, some tea, coffee, and a biscuit, and still throw the ball. Like it's crazy guys that go to the third. I'm covering guys that go to the first, second, third, fourth options and, and competitive, and I hate that. So it's good to see they're finally tuning that and making that better. Um, and, and they're gonna make it, you know, where superstar guys, if you've got a Von Miller over there, you're not gonna be able to just single box him with a crappy tackle. You're gonna have to block a tight end. You're gonna have to shift your line. You're gonna have to block a running back to the side. Those superstar guys, Khalil Mack, those 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 elite edge rushers, both of those guys, they will tear you up if you do not put a blocker there. And with especially when they, not just in the ratings, you gotta remember the ratings changes that, that are uh, coming this year, where they're expanding the rating system and using the full system where you have starters who are 50 60 overall if you have a starting 60 over left tackle trying to block Khalil Mack good luck he's, he's gonna ruin your day he's, he might dominate your entire offense so and that's how it should be I mean that's real life you try to block Khalil Mack with a subpar tackle he's gonna ruin any offense's day so um, it's good to see that that's a step in the right direction for that um, the end game feedback system they're making it streamlined and more cohesive. So, uh, especially around notifications, you can see when the X Factor abilities and different user mechanics uh, light up. Like what you can see when guys are throwing. Right now, Mad 19, it'll say under pressure. Um, and then, so they're making that so it makes it easier um, to see there and, and be notified. So, um, and they also speak going right into that refactor of under pressure quarterback penalties. So, putting pressure on uh, the quarterback be more impactful man in 20 and based upon the ratings and superstar abilities of the pass rusher you'll see great passers have a greater impact on quarterback accuracy um and you also see you know quarterbacks who are great at throwing under pressure will be more accurate so that'll definitely make um a great difference like someone like lamar jackson who i love as a quarterback because his athleticism you know get the pocket but uh he has very low under pressure so even you know, sometimes you might have to escape the pocket just to get away from pressure because in the pocket, if the, if the you know pressure collapses in on him, he's not going to be accurate, and that that's good to see. Um, and then guys like you know maybe like a Philip Rivers can have the pocket collapse all around him, and he's still dropping dimes, um, which is you know very close to real life. So it's good to see that that's going to be something else to differentiate players. Gang sacks, multiple defenders can now seamlessly add into tackle animations when sacking the quarterback. That's a good one. I like more variety of sacks, game sacks, um, uh, strip sacks, all stuff like that. Rush get up animations. If players get knocked down to the ground while the play is still active, they will now hurry up to get up off the field and be more aware of the game situation. That is great because that is the worst. And this year, especially with so many, so buggy where guys get knocked down, don't get up. Guys start doing animations where they're look the play's going on they're, they're got the hands up they're looking to the sideline you know they're chilling and it's like dude what are you doing so i hope they clean that up but also the uh players that get knocked down get up and you know go after the play and uh, you know go after the ball make a play um also they have more polish on blocking catching and tackling they put work into improving the transitions in in and out of interactions with focus on making it more seamless while making the mechanics more responsive and user friendly uh yeah i really want to see that's one thing i'm gonna be focused on and when i get to take a look at the game is the blocking and how the blocking is actually improved because uh, i just see so many issues with the blocking guys rushing three and you're max protecting and you know the end just walks past three blockers and sacks you or you know a guy red rusher slips inside and they're running back it's just it's like it's like it's like he's stuck on a pole in the ground 
and it's just like spinning around in circles while you get sacked. I've just saw so many terrible, terrible AI and terrible things with, with the pass blocking and, and even a lot of things with the run blocking. You know, guard pulls out ahead and then has it blocker right in front of him to pick up. You get a big run, he stops and runs back inside and, you know, tries to block a defender that's, that's you know, 20 or uh, 10 yards to the left of you. It's like, you know, so I really hope they focus on the blocking AI so we don't see just stuff like that because it's really just the eyesore. Uh, and more quality tweaks. They remove auto strike from the game completely, both the functionality and the setting. And I, I every year I turn that off. Every year I turn auto strike off and ball hawk off. I turn all those assistant. I turn assistant everything off. You know, I want, I want all user, all stick skills, all me, you know, so... Um, okay, so that's not gonna affect me at all. I mean, let me know, know if you guys use auto strafe or anything like that. Uh, they remove different game speeds from the game due to the amount of specific bugs caused for animation systems. And yeah, and I did see that um, causing problems, especially in um, franchise and head-to-head -head modes where different game speeds would cause issues and animations and disconnects and all that. So I never played on more than the normal speed, so that's not gonna affect me personally. And Ballhawk is now default to on, on for all skill levels and it can be still toggled off via settings but having it can lead to a number of frustration points for our users so decided it was good okay so uh maybe i'll see i'll see ball I'll, I'll, maybe i'll leave it on this year and see uh because that linebacker change i'm really curious to see how that linebacker change actually makes a difference because somebody who i've been using i've been using the middle linebacker for like the past i don't know probably is Madden 20 like Madden 15 15 years of Madden whatever going back to what that is uh so Madden 05 I've been using the middle linebacker so this might be a, a big change there and and how that's how that's going so that's pretty much it for um you know for the gameplay there so let, let me know what you guys think also yes the hit sticks uh have some notes here that I took as well um they're working on speed and side effects so the hit sticks will be more realistic and it pop, might lead to more broken tackles if you're um, not landing hits it correctly or with, you know, a type of player, a big hit player or someone who has that superstar ability for to land a good hit stick. And so, um, yeah, just make sure you guys stay tuned. Hope you like the video. Make sure you drop a like. Let me know what you think about these improvements. Um, yeah, I, I think they, they look good so far. Kind of gave you my thoughts on each one. I think, you know, I think Madden 20 will be, I'm not saying... It's the end all be all that Madden that we all want, but I think it's definitely a better step in a better direction than Madden 19. Madden 19 was was pretty much a mess, I think, and a lot of things went wrong with that game. I think Madden 20 is kind of getting back. You know, I think it was on a good trajectory. 19, it fell off. I think this is Madden yeah, getting back up, kind of on the saddle a little bit. You know and, and getting back on track to to where we wanted to go it's not where we wanted to be i don't believe and i gotta get some hands-on so I, i'm not gonna you know any any final judgment as, whatsoever so getting more hands-on definitely gonna tell you guys but um let me know what you guys think about these gameplay changes and make sure you stay tuned i have a uh, video coming up specifically on specifically on the superstar x factors and a lot of new abilities that we'll see in madden 20 so if you like the video drop the like subscribe turn the notifications on so you don't miss more Madden 20 here at SGO. This is the natural. I'm out.